Hello my friends, and welcome back to another episode in this let's play of Cloudpunk. It has been a couple of days since I last played this. I think we were about to meet up with Huxley again. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's see. Huxley again. What should I do? Put him through. I had her. I finally had her. Now all I needed was a way out. Huxley, did you find Pashta? The Dane was sharp, but I needed an exit strategy, not a pat on the back. I'll come get you. Send me an aft point. I hope she would get here soon. The situation was going south quicker than the Americans when the ice caps melted. Okay, let's go and find out what Huxley has gotten up to and how he managed to find Pashtha. to play in the morning for a couple of days. Um, if you have been following my Sekiro Let's Play, or if you've been around on the Discord, you'll know that I've had some health problems. Um, in particular, some pretty, pretty gnarly head pain since last weekend. Came on very suddenly while I was at the gym. Uh, maybe they're on the other side. Oh wait. Yes, they are. Um, yeah, so I've been doing my best. But, huh. Wait, how do I, do I go all the way around? Yeah. Um, yeah, I've been doing my best to put out a couple of recordings, but these episodes typically tend to run a little bit longer. Um, so I've been cutting up some clips from Sekiro boss fights and putting those online. But, yeah. Nice to be back. There's Posh there, here's Huxley. Hello, you two. We had to get going. The girl was in danger. We all were. I gave the dame a nav point for a hideout we could use. It might even be safe. There we go. Is Pashta going to speak to us? Who are you? There she I'm is. I'm Rania. I just want to help. Huxley is a friend. You can trust him. I know that. I trust him. He saved me. Fair enough. We'll get you out of here, then leave you too. Huxley, what exactly is the plan? Do we take her back to... Not back. I don't want to go back to him. Pashta, do you know why this happened to you? Because of the chip? In your head? The neural memory. The implant? Yeah. They gave me the implant so I can do better at school. Dad said he wanted me to be a data analyst one day because data analysts sometimes become CEOs. Is that what you wanted? I wanted to be in court sec like him, but he said it was a bad job. So your dad wanted the memory chip removed? He wanted it erased. But I said I didn't want it. It would make me forget a lot more than just the meeting. The meeting? Dad met with people he shouldn't. I heard everything they said. Dad said it was evidence. He said we can never leave behind any evidence. So your dad erased your memory implant? He took me to a man to do it. It hurt. I don't think Dad paid the man. That's why they were mad at him. That's why they sent me away. And you don't want to go back to your father now? I won't go back to him. It made me forget too much. I can't even remember mom anymore. I just remember how much I hate him. How did you find her, Huxley? Busting the kid out hadn't been easy. I'm pretty sure I upset the wrong people. But everyone in Nivalis was the wrong people these days. I'd followed the leads I got from the two-bit mobster who pretended to be her father, Peter. In the grand scheme of things, he was the least terrible of the bunch. I can't believe you found her, Huxley. Oh no, it is happening again. Someone else is on the comm. You were warned, Cloudpunk driver. 
Surrender now and hand over the android Huxley. There was one more hand I could play. It was a desperate plan, but I was done for anyway. There was a number on my head now, and it was a big one. I should turn myself in, then push the big red button. At least the girl might make it. What big red button? My frame was an old espionage bot. Ancient, a bucket of bolts. But it did have one feature I was pretty sure would still work. Self-destruct. All I had to say was a specific combination of words. They would prime my fuse, introduce a little spark into my house of dynamite. I could get rid of Rio for good. Oh no. Do you have to do that? That would be bad. Is it really a button? I'd ask the dame and her dog for a lot of help. The least I could do for them was clear the way. I explained that it wasn't really a big red button. Rather, it was a phrase a that if I said or heard would trigger the detonation sequence. The words were simple enough. I just had to say... No. Pasta, it might work. We could escape. Huxley saved me. And I hate Rio, but he is still my dad. I didn't know this. Did everyone else know this? No, but it adds up, I guess. Let me talk to him. I'm not sure... Trust me. Please. I can do this. Okay, the comm is open. Go ahead. Dad? It's me. Pasta? Pasta, honey. These aren't good people. Listen to me, Dad. Just listen. Remember when Mom got sick? Do you remember what present I brought to the hospital for Mom? Pasta, I... You don't remember. It was a little bird. I made it from folded paper. She said it would stay by her side forever. Oh, I remember, honey. Listen to me. I need you to... No, you listen. I didn't remember the bird because you stole my memories from me. But I wrote it down. Even my scribbles are better at remembering Mom than you are. I wrote down a lot. I wrote down everything you said at that meeting, too. The one that made you do this to me? Pasta, all I care about is your safety. I had to erase the memories so that they wouldn't come for you. No, Dad. You only cared about not being caught. If you cared about me, you would have turned yourself in instead of stealing my memories. Now you listen here. If you have told anyone else... I haven't, but I will if you don't let me go. I wrote down all the words that you said at that meeting. And if you don't leave us alone right now and stay away forever, I will send them in a message to Corpsec. I can't just let you go. No, Dad. You actually can. You can let me go and your secrets are safe. Or you can tell me that you don't care about how much trouble you'll get in and turn yourself in. And I'll wait for you to get out of jail or whatever happens. I'll stay by your side forever if you give up. Damn it, just give yourself up, Rio. He... he's left the comm. Oh no. What a kicker. Her pops had abandoned her. He was letting her go, poor kid. Pashta, I'm sorry, I... It's fine. I knew he would go and leave me behind. It's what he does. Let's keep going. I won't leave your side, kid. Yes, you will. Everyone does. Lomo? You haven't heard from him on you. for a while. Lomo? Um, yeah. Remember what I told you. The city moves real fast, and you got to move with it. I'm trying my best. What do you want, Lomo? You oh, made I'm some stuck. tough choices, Rania. People got hurt. I don't blame you. I think you did the right thing. But some other folk, their choices weren't so good. What do you mean? I'm going to ask you for something that I know you won't give me. Still, I have to ask, and you have to answer. Our choices have narrowed to a point, Rania. We've just got to play our parts from here. What are you talking about? I did what you asked. This isn't about you or even me. This is about what you have. You have to bring that girl back to me. She's the dead. What girl? Let's not do this. I'm asking, but I know your answer. Bring her to me. Last chance. No. All right, then. No hard feelings, Rania. To be honest, I would have thought less of you if you said yes. But debt is like a weight. And if you want someone to carry it, you've got to graft that weight to their bones. You understand? No. You will. 
Your hollow heart will crack like ice. Five minutes to self-destruct. Oh no. What the hell? How could the scumbag know? I don't keep the best hacker in the city around for his singing voice. Your number's up, Huxley. You're deader than the dance hall. It was true. I was a goner. Four minutes, fifty seconds to self-destruct. You're going to kill us all. You said you wouldn't... You're free to drop him off. In fact, I highly recommend you do. Stop this. I'll find a way to... As your robot friend might say, you were never going to come out of this shit smelling like roses. Goodbye, Ranya. He has disconnected. It isn't fair. We have to help him. There was a way to get out of this, but it was a long shot. A damn long shot. What long shot? The vents. If we could get there in time, maybe I could find an old hackbot and disarm the self-destruct sequence. Why aren't you driving faster? We have to save him. Shit. Okay, let's go. Oh, okay. Let's drive and save Huxley. Please make us go faster. I don't even remember what the quickest way to the vents is. Maybe we'll meet the farmers again, the Vance farmers. the parking where's the parking oh, ah yeah. yeah so where do we find this hackbot you said you had five minutes about how could I tell her that it wasn't as easy as interfacing with an old machine so tell me what you need I needed the dame to look after Pashta no more no less what do you mean why are you just standing there? Truth was, there was no hackbot. I was done. Only the girl mattered now. I needed the dame to take her in. I can't do that. I can't just take on a child, Huxley. The dame protested, but I knew in the end she would do the right thing. She had to get moving. Damn it, Huxley. It shouldn't be like this. It's not fair. Fair is what we make it. 
Ugh, you deserve better than this. I told her to get back into her car and her safety. I was able to insert lines of code into my core loop to delay the big moment, but I wasn't able to prevent it. Goodbye, Rania. Goodbye, Huxley. I wish I could drag him back. Alright. Goodbye, Huxley. Why didn't you save him? We couldn't save him. You knew that. We all knew it. Yeah, I'm sorry, Huxley. I knew he would leave. Don't you dare say anything bad about Huxley. Never again. He gave everything for you. For us. Where are you taking me? Back to my apartment. Really? Shush. Let's just drive in quiet for a little while. Oof. Man, I really wish we could have saved Huxley. He grew on me a lot. I think there are only... Like three storyline interactions with him, but he was he was a very good character, very well written, very endearing. some gas on the way. to repair as well. I was thinking of games to play after Cloudpunk and Disco Elysium came up again. Uh, I have I've got it on Steam, I got it during the sale. And I've heard repeatedly that it's, you know, it's such a good game. It's a very great dialogue-driven game as well. So maybe I'll check that out. I think the comment that I saw about it uh, this week was that if you can go into that game having never played it and not knowing anything about it, it will be such a good experience. So maybe that's what I'll do. I know I'll play it eventually, um, but who knows, maybe sooner rather than later. Other than that, I was thinking maybe things like Spirit of the North. Uh, that looks like a nice game. It's a little behind the scenery. I really like the look of that, the aesthetic of that game a lot. Get some gas too. to go back to the garage pretty soon <laughs> after all that. I have no idea how some people play this game um, in the first person view. I could never. I have 
nowhere near the amount of coordination required. Hey, there's Basha. Follow me. Now let's set you up in our apartment. have much food right now. I'm not hungry. Is this your whole house? Yes, it's plenty big for me and Camus. How long can I stay here? I'll get some food when my shift finishes. In the meantime, there's some fruit and moshi in the fridge. The fridge? The thing that keeps the food cold? Oh yeah, I knew that. Just make yourself at home, but don't touch anything. You can watch the hollow vids or whatever. When do I have to leave? Look, you... you don't have to leave. I won't send you away until there's somewhere you want to go. I don't want to go anywhere. Nowhere is home anymore. Then this is the best nowhere you have right now. I won't be long. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Okay then, I'll see you soon, Pashta. Rania, I... I know Huxley saved us. Good. He said we need to stick together, so we will. I'll see you when the sun comes up. Bye, Rania. Oh, we got a second bed. Nice. Alright, back to work. Back to work. Let's see what Control has for us today. It's the same day, it's the same night. Let's see what Control has for us now. Driver 14 FC, come in. I'm here. New hmm. job available. Okay, I'm ready. New job available. You already said that. Are you okay? I'm really not in the mood, Control. Can you just talk normally, please? It's been a long night. New nav point generated. Your voice sounds weird. I've had enough bad surprises for one night. What's going on? Please proceed to the nav point. No, everything is normal. Well, that's reassuring. Okay, I'm on my way. Rania out. Is Mr. Control okay? I don't think so, Chemis. Let's go to the nav point. We have no other choice. Mr. Control, at this point, seems to be an automata. to a beacon. It looks like the one we... We used to talk to Korra? Yes, there's nothing else here. We are getting a message from Control again, text only. It says to fly close to the ruined transmitter beacon. All right, let's go. Is that this? I am Korra. I am not as I once was. You again. Did you pretend to be Control? I am patches on upgrades, systems on systems, mechanical, computer, and human. And yet, you can't just answer my question. I took on the guise of another to bring you here. You stole his voice. He has no voice. He is a shell. Don't say that about him. That's not nice. Deep down, you know how empty he is. I felt the pain of your android passing. He was lost. Then he found me. You're mad. I have no time for this. Huxley says he wishes you well. Screw you. I'm leaving. Stop calling on me. I would have your answer to my question before you leave. What answer? I am bifurcated light. Consciousness through a prism. I must know what the future holds for this place and for those who follow me. You're a mad old AI with no purpose. 
this may be true. I still must know. You came to this city from outside. You understand here and also there. You know the city and the not city. If you say so. So answer my question and think carefully on your answer, as it will have repercussions. Is Navalis a city overcome by monsters? What? I repeat, is Navalis a city overcome by monsters? Overcome with monsters? No, Cora. Navalis is the monster. I can't detect a signal anymore. Good. We're done with crazy people. Cora said... Did you say the wrong thing? I don't care anymore, Camus. Let's get out of here. The city is the monster. I like that. In the case of England, London, the city is definitely the monster. Hey, kid, you there? Are you the real control or the annoying fake one? What do you mean? Nothing. What you got for me? I need to ask you to take a passenger again. So, you're the annoying real control. You know, we're not a taxi service, right? I, I know, I know, but this one will be worth it. Very rich client. Needs to get somewhere without the paparazzi getting a sniff. Someone famous? I think so. But even I don't know who it is. Sending an aft point. Uh, one more thing, Ronnie. Yeah? If it's a cute pop star, get me an autograph. Don't push your luck. Let's go. I think this is when I... Last time when I played the game, this is when I was like, huh, maybe it would be cool to do some Lyft slash Uber driving. Lyft is a lot bigger than Uber here in the Pacific Northwest. Um, but yeah, I still don't have a car. Uh, and of course at that time, I did not have a green card, so I could not have done that, even if I wanted to. Wait, is that really the closest parking? Alright, I guess. Let's do it. Let's walk around on foot. That's a bit weird. A little glitch. Um, I think, as I said, I am... I know I said I'm done with Evelyn's quest, but I'm still gonna pick up the stuff anyway. Like, another 20 of these punch cards. Like, maybe... Maybe the quest should have been designed so that it was like, 5 punch cards, then 10 punch cards, then 15, and then you're done. But... Yeah, not, not a fan of the way it was done. Um, okay, we go across. There's my passenger. Hello, passenger. Um, hi. My name is Rania. I'm a delivery driver. I don't normally take passengers. I can't believe it is really Dolly. Can I ask you a question? You may. Your new song is so good, but on your second album, on Dream Bop Candy Droid, were you singing about your first breakup? Oh, for crying out loud. No, Camus. I was singing about the pressures of my dream bop world. Sometimes it is very lonely. I am sure it must be tough to be so rich that you can't tell if the people being nice to you really even like you. That is... This was not a very nice thing to say. I'm sure she can go home and cry herself to sleep on her big pile of money. There is more to life than material success, says the rich pop star. Give me a break. 
Can I ask an additional question? You may. On your third album, on the song Second Skin, you sang, Metal skin, scales or rubber, I'm your dream girl, bubblegum lover. Does the second skin mean their clothes? Yes, but it also means I believe love exists for all beings. This makes me happy. Dolly's new album, Dolly and the Symbiosis Dream, coming to stores in March. Pre-order for the bonus special edition. Please let this be over soon. You are moody today. No shit, Camus. You remember who we just lost? I remember Huxley. Don't say I forgot him, because I didn't forget. All right, don't get upset. I'm sorry. I also feel lost sometimes. Or I want to get lost. No one knows me. They just love... Dolly. You are Dolly. I am Dolly. I am the real Dolly. The first. Wait, what does that mean? I am not permitted to explain this any further. I forgot to say, please just drive to the west for now. You act like an automata, right? Like that's the act? You speak and act like an AI girl, but you're a real grown woman? I am what the audience needs me to be. They recreated me. They copied you? Made an AI that looks like you? I am not supposed to say. So they fucked you too, huh? The corpse, the media, Nivalis. I was replaced. I was Dolly before Dolly was taken by the audience. And when the audience bought shares in my persona, someone needed to manage the IP. That's when they took control of me, piece by piece. My name, my face, my songs, my dances, my personality, the way I talk, the words I say. I came home one day to find my apartment locked. My key card did not work. I tried to get a cab and found my credit was declined. I called on my mother and the number was blocked. The whole time, a billboard with my face looked down on me, mocking me. I called Corpsec and they said I could be arrested if I told anyone I was the real Dolly. Who is the new Dolly? They said it was going to be an automata. It would take some of the workload off me so I could have a holiday. They said it would have my memories and experiences and knowledge. They'd been mapping my consciousness with the neural implant they gave me. That's so awful. They lied. They replaced me with another girl, another human. She barely even looks like me. But people will know. No. They don't notice. They've been using her likeness. For a year now. So, what do you want to do now? Where do we go? I need to make a decision. My future is over. They are looking for an excuse to imprison me forever. If I break my contract, mention who I really am, I'll be put away forever. I was going to face them, gate crash the live interview which is happening in 15 minutes. Unless you have any other ideas. Start again. New name, new career. Move on. It'll be hard, but... There is nowhere I could go. I am forbidden to work, to have money. Leave the city. Why stay in Novalis? Head out to the Eastern Peninsula, my old home. I would not survive there. You might. You'd have a better chance than here. I... I do not know. I can't decide. Do what you think is best. Take me wherever you please. Of course, of course, of course we are going to send her to the Eastern Peninsula. This is what Rania meant when she said that Navalis is the monster. The parking. We are saving Dolly from the monster. Do you miss home? Yes. 
Will I like it outside Navalis? I don't know. Will they accept me? They take in anyone who is willing to work, but they will be suspicious and it won't be easy. I can call some old friends back home and ask them to help you out. No, I have to do this myself. Well, good luck, Dolly. Maybe you will come back someday? Maybe you will release the fifth album? No, Camus. I didn't like the music I made. That wasn't really me. It is sad that no one will hear you sing again. Oh, don't worry about that. I'll never stop singing for anyone who wants to listen. I won't let them win. That's what Rania doesn't understand. They don't win until your music stops. Damn, Dolly. Shots fired. Shots fired. Hey, kid. You still surviving out there? Just about, less. Control. Do you ever worry they'll replace all of us with Automata? Not for a second. Or worse, just replace us with other people who aren't broken yet? Everyone and everything in this city is broken. Two more hava crashes in the last hour, and they say the uh, food dispensers in Diver Row are only serving up shrimp chocolate bars. But hey, it keeps you on your toes, right? You doing okay out there? Yeah, I'm fine. You know, I was thinking about your flute playing. Did you ever... I don't want to talk about that. All right, kid. All right, I got a job for you. It's not great. Just tell me where to go, Control. You remember the contract for a client called Gil? Yeah. You know, at the time, I thought that was the worst job I'd ever Who's do. Gil? Nothing like a night with Cloudpunk to shift your perspective on what a bad night can be, right? Well, there's a family member of Gil's that wants to ask you some questions. Oh, they even said paid the call his... out fee, so as far as the company's concerned, um, well, you gotta go. Ah, remember when we effects. used to deliver things? That's the spirit. If you're giving me attitude at this point, you're all right. Look, you don't have to say anything special, but you don't have to take any crap either. Just go and listen, answer their questions, then get out of there nice and easy. On my way, Control. Yeah, we mailed his things. I think Gil died? Or he, Gil is not among the living anymore, for sure. Um, ah. I am legitimately the worst hover driver. Oh, I guess we're going in the tunnel. All right. Swing around. Hey, that was a pretty cool move. Maybe I'm not the worst hopper driver. <sighs> All right. So yeah, we were supposed to burn his things or put him in a trash chute or something. Good to know that his family got his things. Is there a parking lot somewhere that I can go to? No, it's further down. Brothers, maybe? So you're the last person who saw my brother alive. <laughs> yep. I guess so. Who are you? I'm his brother, Bill. <laughs> mom didn't have much imagination when it comes to names. Your mom's still around? I'm sure she wouldn't want you here. She already lost a son. No, mom supported Gil in his choice. She, uh, she understood. 
So do I. I've heard stories about the sky since I was smaller than a sump rat. <laughs> Beyond the clouds! <laughs> I can't leave Gil there alone. But he's not in the clouds. He's dead. Where's your imagination? Look, I can't really take another desperate dreamer throwing their life away. Can you just tell me what you want? I guess... And I just want to know... Was he at peace before he went? Was he afraid? No, he had no idea what he was heading into. Then I won't be afraid either. You want to go through with it as well? It's what he would have wanted. After Gil went, was your mom... Did she seem upset? No, not at all. She, she was proud. She'd never been proud of either of us before. I dropped out of math academy and... Gil couldn't pass his corpsec entrance exams. We were a couple of failures till Gil went into the clouds. <laughs> Me and Mom even got some money from the insurance. <laughs> we bought a new Hova. Oh, come on. What? Put two and two together, Bill. I... I don't understand. Your mom filled your head with dreams of going into the sky. Then, put an insurance policy on both of you. If you're naive enough to go through with this, maybe she deserves the money more than you do. Hey, I'm not naive! <laughs> then prove it. Your brother is dead. Your mom doesn't care about you. Maybe no one does right now, but that doesn't mean no one ever will. Get out of here. Make something of your life and stop dreaming about the sky. I've seen it. It only makes you feel worse because no matter how vast and beautiful the sunrise looks, you're still stuck down here with everyone else. Anyone who tells you that you can escape this place by running away is just selling you another lie. You really believe that? Look around you. You think that if there was an easy escape from this place, anyone would choose to stay here? I... I guess you might have a point. I'll think about it. Maybe I'll go home. <laughs> or maybe a bar. That was grim. That was so grim. Pashta is trying to send you a message. Well, put her through. I am trying, but she keeps hanging up on the call. Well, send her a call request. Calling. 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 Can you stop saying that? Play a ringtone or something. This is very awkward. Calling. What kind of ring? Calling. Tone would you like? Calling. To choose. Why isn't she answering? She has not activated the comm, but according to your apartment sensors, she is currently activating and deactivating the light inside the refrigerator. Damn it, put me on the speaker. You are now transmitting. Pashta, listen to me, okay? I'm coming back to the apartment. Just try not to mess with anything. I guess I should have shown you how to use the comm. I'll be back in a minute, okay? Do you think Pashta is okay? I with think so. Rich kids. We left her alone. I am aware of that, Camus. Maybe she is not good when she is alone. It's possible. Damn it, I'm not good when I'm alone. We'll check in on her. She'll be fine. I'm sure she'll be fine. Should we bring her something? Like what? Water. Our home automata says our water ration is low. We have enough water to drink, though. Good water? Yeah. Well, grade three comes out of the faucet, and it should be fine for most. Maybe we should get her better water. She's probably used to grade one. It might take her a while to get used to the impurities down here. We uh, could go to a store. It's on our way. I'm Maybe. Not gonna what if do she that? really needs us, though? We might be wasting time. I'm definitely not gonna do that. Pasta, you gotta learn how to drink grade three water like the rest of us. Oh my god. Pet peeve. Right. Not even a pet peeve, big peeve. If I remember, yes, there is parking on this side as well. As if I'm gonna go that far to buy 
five bottles of water. As if. Hey, kid. Pashto, what's wrong? Why did you call me? I didn't think you'd come back. I'm here. I didn't do it wrong. It must be broken. What's broken? The ice cream machine. It's not my fault. That's not an ice cream machine, Pashta. That's a faucet. And you've used most of our water ration. We get charged a fortune for that. I told you. It's not my fault. Look, things are probably different, way different here than they were in your old apartment. The clothes replicator is broken. It's not broken. We don't have one. It's... it's going to be hard on you for a while, till you adjust. I'm not spoiled. It's okay, you were, but only in some ways. You are definitely spoiled. spoiled with you things, are the worst. but not with affection. Not from what I saw of Rio, anyway. I can't give you those same things you had before. Do you understand? Yeah, I guess. But I'm not going away. I won't let anyone take you away if you don't want to go. I don't want to go. Then there's nothing to worry about. Now, can you read these screens on the front door? I'm gonna bring up some instructions for you. They'll tell you how to do stuff. Wash, open the window filters, call me on the comm, basic stuff. Just read them carefully. Can you do that? Yeah. All right, well, I have to go back to work, but my shift will finish in a little while. You should get some sleep too. I'm not tired. Then don't sleep, you're in charge. Oh. Okay. When I come back, we'll do something fun. After I get some sleep. All right, well, I'll see you soon, okay? It is nice to see you again, Pashta. I am excited to talk later. How come I can hear Camus? Isn't he a car? He can transmit through the comm when I'm home. Really? Hi, Camus. I'm going to stay home and look after everything till you come back. That's good, but this isn't home, Pashta. Remember that. It's just where we live right now. I understand. It's very important. This isn't home. It's just where we live right now. Fourteen FC, we need you to get out of that area fast. Whoa, what's going on? Why? An undernet pulse? It's a root level data surge through the network. It pings back to your location, affiliation, and cargo. You have to get out of Midtown. Avalon Heights should be safe. I'm not carrying any cargo. It's not about deliveries, kid. If the pulse hits you, Cloudpunk will get hit with a fine. We only have a license for five Havas in this zone. So? Ah. You're number six. They already got the rest. How much time do I have? Most old town. Not Avalon enough Heights. For questions. Go. Understood. Let's go. That wasn't too bad. We made it. Going. Oh, okay. We gotta. We gotta keep going. This is still Inari Gardens. Okay, we made it. And we relocated one of our drivers to run the slums from now on. No, no. We can't take the hit of another corpsec fine. That's a demotion, right? For him. For you, it's an opportunity. Don't blow it. Oh my 
I just realized that you can strafe with we left button call. and with left William. bumper and Hello? right bumper. L1 R1. The no way. Android. Remember? Right. That's insane. Should I play him through? <laughs> no. What if it is important? It's only ever bad news, Camus. When was the last time someone messaged us on the comm and things didn't get worse? Well, there was no. Hmm. Did he say what he wants? No. The message request says urgent. Fine, put him through. I need you to come back to Avalon Heights. These people have gone crazy. What do you mean they've gone crazy? You know what? Don't answer that. This has nothing to do with me. This is a dilemma. I know not who else to ask. And I care not for your dilemma. I shall pay you. I'll simply raise the rent for all my residents. Your usual Cloudpunk delivery rate, but paid in full to you. This will be just between us. And what do you want? Wait, you're a vacuum cleaner. How can you raise the rent? Much has changed since we last spoke. It certainly sounds like it. I need you to come to my spire. Once here, I require no more of you than to flick a switch. And I'll get paid for that? Yes. I'll get my switch flicking finger ready then. What happened to the garage? I wanted to... Um, I wanted to get in a repair before I went, but okay. We'll go, we'll go. Alright, we gotta find a garage. Alright, there's one. I hope that's not the one I just came from. Alright, let's see if we can get to William and then hit a garage on the way to our next destination. Uh, parking. What did you need me to do again? I will send you to a nav point on the northern face of the building. You'll find the override switch there. I can't get to it myself. Fine, I'm on my way. I'm transmitting the building security manifest to you now. This should give you access to the terminals. Should we ask what the switch is for? Nope. But maybe it is something bad. Better we don't know. We did not like William. He was strange. Everyone is strange here. We are strange here. Hmm. You have changed. Hey, where's this attitude coming from? I'm just trying to get us through this shift. Things went bad, and I feel sad too, but... But you are becoming... hard. Are you my conscience now? Look, we should keep our heads down for a while. Ask him what the switch does. Fine. Keep your wheels on, I'll ask. Hey, William, come in, please. What does this switch do? You must hurry. They are overrunning the building. Who is? The infected. Ooh, maybe infected. this is the virus. Like a disease? Yes. It makes them crazy. They will destroy this building. They plan to unplug me. Why would they unplug the vacuum cleaner? I am the building factor now. I was lucky enough to benefit from a series of accidents that befell my senior AIs. A string of promotions led me to be the new building manager. How fortunate. Camus, I think you were onto something. Everything has been running smoothly during my tenure. Trash is collected on time. The elevators rarely fail. So what went wrong, William? A plague. An outbreak. They have become monsters and the infection spreads by the moment. Please, do not delay further. I know you may doubt me, but I confess. I am in over my head. I let things get out of hand. 
Perhaps the food rations were tainted, or perhaps some nerve gas escaped due to the unnecessarily complicated air filtration systems. I cannot reach the reset switch, which will isolate the infected areas. But you can. I am loath to beg, but I will beg if I need to. Maybe we should help. He sounds desperate. And you can't override the security switch yourself? The emergency isolation systems require a physical switch be activated. My consciousness has been uploaded to the building's mainframe. I have no method to leave the building, far less press a switch. And your maintenance bots, porters, no other androids can help? They were all my seniors too. And sadly, a series of random and unfortunate accidents befell them all. Uh-huh. I do not think he is a good automata. I can hear you, you know. But I still think maybe we should help the people. Let's go look at this emergency isolation switch then. We have two nav points. What's the deal, Camus? I think we should help the people. But? But I have also provided a nav point for the building manager's power input. So we could disconnect William completely? Yes, but maybe the people would suffer. Or the infection would spread. If there even is an infection. Yes. The other switch would put many apartments in the building into lockdown, isolating many residents. What would happen to them? I do not know. I think they would be trapped. All right, William. You're done. What is happening? I'm shutting down. You hit the wrong switch. I don't think so. The infection will spread. You are responsible. I'll live with it. Goodbye, William. This is not fair. This is... This is... This is... Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. You are the weakest link, William. Goodbye. All right. Hey again, Control. Driver 14 FC, we have an urgent contract. We need someone fast. Is that me? I bet it's me. It is. But don't take this one lightly. It's a printed heart. Someone needs it in the spire. Once you take on the mission, I'll tell Life Corp to go ahead with the print. Is it a transplant? Is someone ill? Not exactly. From what I understand, Life Corp specializes in hearts that beat to specific song rhythms. It's very fashionable in the spire. This one is a song from the pop idol Dolly's new album. Love to help those less fortunate than me. Hold the sass, kid. This pays well, but you gotta be quick. The batteries don't last on these things unless they're feeding off biomechanical energy in someone's chest. If you're too slow, they'll need to print another. Is this well paid, at least? <laughs> For Cloudpunk, yes. For you, well, kinda. I've sent the nav point to pick it up. Good luck, kid. Mm. We really need to repair before we do anything else. So... I think we can... Go ahead, find a garage and repair, get some gas as well, and then wrap up the episode. We can start the next episode with the artificial hot pickup. First we get gas. And then we'll head around 
to do the repairs. This is what I keep to, right? But there is no... Mr. Repairman, where are you? I don't know. Anyway, we can figure this out on the next episode of Cloudpunk. If you are enjoying this Let's Play as much as I am enjoying playing this Let's Play, Make sure you hit subscribe on the channel so that you get notified of new episodes. And also leave a comment and, you know, let me know what are you thinking about this. Uh, yeah, my head is throbbing now, so I'm going to go and take some more medication. Hopefully I'll be feeling better by the time I record the next episode. That is it. That is the end of the video. I hope that whatever you do today, you have a very, very nice day. Goodbye.